Right now, there's um, a movement in the film industry here in BC. Uh, there's a hashtag called Call Time Mental Health. Mm -hmm. And there's been a lot of, well, not to say a lot, but there's been some suicides or mm -hmm. depression, a lot of depression and mm -hmm. uh, alcohol and drug abuse mm -hmm. uh, in the film industry. And I'm, I'm sure you've seen, seen it or that kind of thing. And um, I just want to know if you have any advice for people in the film industry like what should they do or talk to or like how should they cope with it the long hours yeah yeah it's a very demanding industry mm -hmm. you know I, I worked in the film industry as well and especially you know for younger actors I mean there was always even in my day there was always drugs and alcohol you know a lot of people OD'd mm -hmm. you know that's whether it was John Belushi or whomever. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember one of the cast members on 21 Jump Street, uh, he OD'd as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a real accessibility mm -hmm. to drugs and e now it's even more dangerous with fentanyl or not fent yeah. fentanyl, yeah, yeah, yeah with fentanyl, fentanyl yeah. And, and stuff. And uh, so the main thing is to realize that it's important to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. To know that if you're not sleeping a lot, that's going to make you tired, irritable, maybe not make the best decision make, making, mm -hmm. the best decisions that you could. Yeah, because everyone's working like long hours, especially now because it's yeah. the industry is so busy. That's right. And so, how do you take care of yourself? Mm -hmm. Making sure that you have friends, making sure that if you are getting wired out, that you have got some people you know, you can say, "Hey, I'm, I'm, I need to talk. I'm getting really low here." Mm -hmm. So, friends, I would say, are really critical. And reach out. Mm -hmm. Don't go, oh, I can handle by myself. You know, that old macho thing. Of well, there's a bit of a stigma to like, mental health. And so people are kind of like, shy away from bringing something up because they don't want to feel weird or... Well, well especially... I can relate to that. Especially for men, you know, that, and that's an old cultural mm -hmm. trope, if you will. You know, I, I should be able to handle it. Yeah. I'm a strong man. Yeah. If I can't handle it, I'm weak. Mm -hmm. And therefore not a man, mm -hmm. which is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. you know? Uh, I see more men now are more willing to come to therapy now than, say, 20 years ago, and that's great. Uh, you know, uh, psychotherapy, counseling, whatever you want to call it, it's there as a support. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be sick to come to therapy, not at all. Yeah. You know, it's really about your own personal growth and looking at your life and making changes so that you're happier, mm -hmm. that you have your life going the way you would like it to go.